Have you ever wondered why do you look like your parents or siblings? Why is it that all your family members have facial and behavioral similarities? The secret behind this is DNA. DNA or deoxyribonucleic acid is the hereditary material that carries information from one generation to another. A person has the same DNA all over his body and throughout his life. A DNA is composed of two chains that form a double helix by coiling around each other. It also called as polynucleotide as it is composed of many monomer units called nucleotide. Each nucleotide is a combination of one base, a sugar and a phosphate group. There are four types of bases present in DNA that are cytosine, guanine, adenine and thymine. However, Sometimes the DNA gets damaged by interaction with external molecules like oxidizing agents, alkylating agents or with high energy electromagnetic radiation such as ultraviolet light and x-rays. These external damaging factors are called mutagens. Some of these mutagens can go inside the space between the bases and thus can distort the DNA structure. This process is known as intercalation. This results in inhibition of both transcription and DNA replication, causing toxicity and mutations. On the bright side, this unique ability might possibly end the rapid growth of cancer cells by inhibiting the DNA replication of those contagious cells. Scientists all over the globe are trying to understand the mechanism of DNA intercalation due to its utmost possibility in cancer treatment. A group of scientists from computational chemistry and biophysics lab found an answer to this question. To address this issue, they have chosen an anti-cancer agent, proflavin. They have performed computer simulation to understand the behavior of proflavin near DNA. Computer simulation uses mathematics to mimic the behavior of any system, like the natural systems, while having a trace of what is happening at every instant. It is more like recording a video at every fraction of time. It is used everywhere for examples in astrophysics, climate science, chemistry and biology. The researchers at Iserpune have used a computer simulation method called Advanced Metadynamics Method to carry out this study. This method uses Gaussian-like bias to accelerate a process. Imagine you are trapped inside a rift and you need to cross a high barrier to go to the other side of the wall. What if someone helps you by filling up the rift and making the level of the rift same as the top? Won't be the crossing easier now? Metadynamics has been informally described as filling the free energy wells with computational sand. Here Gaussian is referred as the sand. Using this method, they have found that when a proflavin molecule comes near to the DNA, it seems that while entering from minor groove site, it has to replace more water thus creates a high barrier. On the other hand, intercalation through major groove site is proved to be more feasible due to low desolvation energy cost. So we wanted to understand how an anti-cancer drug uh, gets into paired or base pairs of a DNA. So this mode of binding of this type of anti-cancer drugs were discovered experimentally. However, there was no mechanism in terms of molecular detail existed before. So, we wanted to really understand how it happens so that we can uh, design new drugs, uh, better ones that intercalate into the base pairs. When the proflavin molecule approaches the DNA, six steps process occur to tune the entrance path. At first, the molecule tries to test the targeted base pair. Upon failure, it tries to slide or shift the base pair. The twisting, sliding or shifting does not create any void to accommodate the incoming proflavin. When maximum sliding is reached, due to the generated pressure, the base pair gets tilted and opens up. That is the point where the molecule gets space to enter the cavity created within the base layer. Now, since the proflavin molecule has found its spot, the bases buckle around it and rise to adjust the space. This intercalated DNA is entirely different from the original DNA. 
Now due to the presence of this external component proflavin, this DNA is unable to replicate leading to its death. This whole process occurs within a millisecond. Intercalation leads to the death of the cell. Nevertheless, won't it be awesome if all the cancer cells in a patient's body also die like that without replicating more cancer cells? Now that we know how an anti-cancer agent like proflavin proceeds through the body for intercalation within a millisecond time, we can aim to design better drugs for cancer. This study has high potential and it will be extremely useful if carried out further in the right direction. As it is said, champions keep playing until they get it right.